All right, now in the tradition of the old uh, barn dances and all of that, I will say I had the pleasure recently of my wife and I went on a wee bit of a holiday up to uh, the Virginia mountains. My son is now uh, a music director for a, a middle school and a high school. He's a band director uh, up in uh, the very northwest tip of Kentucky, uh, of uh, Virginia, near the Kentucky line. And uh, he invited me to come up and to play a couple of songs with his high school band. And he wrote charts and all of that so I could do a couple of songs, a couple of these songs, in fact, uh, with his band. And it was a thrill uh, to do it. it was, also quite nerve-wracking, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. And uh, we took the opportunity, my wife and I, or uh, let me rephrase that. My wife decided we was gonna spend a few days up there. <laughs> so we went up there and spent a few days and nights. And on the Saturday night, we looked around to see what was going on. We stayed in a cabin in a state park up there and uh, they didn't even have a television, you know? There wasn't, there were Shinolas or do, you know? But, uh, so we, but we were enjoying the weather and the, and the mountains and the whole thing, but we found out that only 30 miles from where we were was a place called the Carter Family Fold. The Carter Family Fold. Right near where we were staying, uh, as the fates would have it, was the place where A.P. Carter himself had grown up in a little cabin there and then in the, in the Depression when the music business was on the downturn. We know about that, don't we? <laughs> Uh, he built a store, and the store is now a museum, and right next to the store, they built a 500-seat auditorium into the side of a mountain where it has concrete steps up like this, step up, step up the mountain, and at every step up, there's a, a, there's a garage door, so you can open it up, and it's all wide open, or either you can close it up, you know, if it's too cold or whatever. But they had a bluegrass band playing, and everybody on a Saturday night in that area and I'm telling you, everybody down this little two-lane road, cars were parked all over in the mud and up the side of it, and I got, almost got my truck stuck, you know. But anyway, everybody came there to listen to the tunes and to go dancing. And they all wore taps on their shoes. And it was so much like when we were in Ireland and we saw the step dancing over there, except there were so many people there that didn't know, they danced like me. <laughs> but anyway, but it was so much fun, it was a little slice of life. I said that to say, it reminded me at the end of the night, they always did the same thing, the end of the night with a gospel song. And the old barn dances, that's what we did in this house. Uh, Kibe, Kibe. So we'd like to sing this next song, a little gospel song to end our evening, and thank you so much for being with us. A little gospel song written by one of our favorite Appalachian singers, Willie Nelson. <laughs> On the table, and his pages are worn and hard to read. And that family Bible on the table will never be my source of memory. And I can see us sitting around the table. When work was over And when the evening meal was done Dad would read to us from the family Bible And we'd count our many blessings one by one And I can see us sitting around the table Softly. 
his hand. Rock of ages, rock of ages, before me. Rock of ages, rock of ages, left for me. Thank you very much. Come on a nice end. From Mike Murray, from Marcy Shore, Gary Hewitt, Big Frank Waddell, Clay Rice. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.